Hello everyone and welcome to Star Trek Online. Let's play Star Trek Online Episode 3 and <laughs> at last, hopefully, we can start getting away from all of these things. So we get a chance to get solved this within seconds away. So In the last episode, we got to the point where we were heading to Pyre's world, which is the, the situation of the Puran, obviously establishing the effects of the April Law in Discovery. We're about to be. I think at this, probably at this level, I'll probably fast forward. So, um, hopefully, you'll hear from me when we arrive. We're now approaching Briar's world, or the Briar system. As you can see, there's a sort of light year count. That'll be helpful when you get to Quantum Slipstream, when we eventually have that. Uh, what I tend to do is, if I get within five year light years or something, I tend to drop out of Quantum Slipstream and resume normal warp. Um, and hopefully we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see that soon. Right, here we go. This is the USS Cicada. Switch to frequency 228.7 to adjust for ion storm interference. This is the Shinano. Advise keeping shields up. Cloaked Klingon vessels are still testing our defenses.
Let's do this quickly. Don't want our shields down for long. Thanks. Our supplies were low after retaking Cryer's world. One more assault and we would have been at critical levels in several key resources. I expect the Cicada is waiting for supplies too. I hope you have what they need. Lowering shields now. We are ready to receive supplies. Engineering has confirmed that all expected hardware has been delivered. Thank you. We shall begin repairs at once. Our computer systems have received significant damage from Klingon assaults. I believe the Baran is waiting for you to report in, so I will keep you no longer. This is Commander Ellen Landry of the USS Baran. Welcome to Pryor's World. The captain has requested that you transport over to the Baran to speak in person. Truth be told, we're not certain our hailing frequencies are completely secure. It's, um, it's a long story. Let's just say the Klingons had a few tricks up their sleeve during battle. So I see killed by the touch grade in the Discovery series. Here she is. Alive, of course. Nice to finally meet you face to face. I'm Captain Gabriel Lorca. Welcome to the Baran. This is my first officer, Commander Ellen Landry. Sorry to hear about Captain Schaefer. He was one of our best. Agreed. A damn fine captain. Though from what we've heard about what happened at Corvan, his ship's in good hands. Ah, and my somewhat tardy Chief of Security, Omna Patel. Uh, apologies, Captain. Welcome aboard. We appreciate the assistance. Engineering is this way, if you'll follow me. What took you so long? Ah, <sighs> you try booking a reception hall during prime wedding season. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. My warrior. Braver than a hundred Klingons. Kapla! We better catch up. Uh, before the captain throws us in the brig with the Klingons. <laughs> We've been mopping up here after our scrap with the Klingons. The Klingons did not surrender Pryor's world lightly. Cleaning up the planet based missile launchers was satisfying. The Baran is currently holding some Klingon prisoners of war. Prisoners we planned to deliver to a secure location before we ran into a snag. Lieutenant Kerwin, I have someone I'd like you to meet. Welcome aboard. Thanks for lending us a hand. Mind taking a look at something here? I'm analyzing some issues with the Baran's critical systems, and a fresh perspective might shed some light. Somehow the Klingons infected our computer systems with a particularly nasty virus during the battle. Another house Mokai trick by the looks of it. It's in several key systems. Sensors, shields, weapons. Ugh. Right now, we can't rely on any of those remaining at operational status. If they come back for a rematch, we could wind up blind and defenseless. Uh, the virus has really dug into our tactical systems. We lose targeting, can't even power up the emitters or launchers. At that point, the only weapon in our arsenal is harsh language. And that won't go very far in a fight with the Klingons. <laughs> Their entire language is harsh. Again, more career-based missions. Oh, 
and a little bit of a mini game. These are a bit uncommon here and there. This type is anyway. You'll you'll see this more when we mine the lithium if we ever get to that point. If the virus tries to lock out a weapon, they should still work. This one's a more common mini game. Nice work. Tactical will need to make adjustments, but that should block the virus nicely. What the? We just lost port. Bridge to Captain. Klingon vessels decloaking. Lork at a bridge. I'm on my way. Captain, internal sensors show multiple Klingon transporter signals in your vicinity. All hands, repel borders. Get a bridge. We need those shields back. Do what you can to keep our port side away from the Klingons. Kerwin, I want you to head up there and give them a hand with the shields. No, I think it's time we went on the offense. Landry, Patel, lead the way. Chief, get us to the armory. On it. Captain to sick bay, we have wounded on deck 17. We're on our way, Captain. Take one of these phaser rifles. We just finished modifications on them from data we gathered during the Priors World fighting. <laughs> the Klingons are in for a little surprise. Bridge to Captain. Lork at a bridge. Acknowledged. I'm just going to do a bit of tidying up of the inventory. I'll save the stun pistols. Cover me. Tell, give me a hand with this. Uh, there's no time. Captain, you need to go. That's not how we operate, Commander. We don't leave people behind. It's clear. Help her. I lost you there. 
Fortunately, the captain had other ideas. Nice shot back there. Glad you had our backs. We need to move. Can you stand? Mm. No, I'll manage. It's not as bad as it looks. on virus again. Bridge, this is the captain. Prepare the tractor beam in case we fail. It's even in the door systems. I'll handle. Bam! Got it! We're preparing to depart to the Varan. Prepare for our arrival. Not today. Not on my ship. Change your plan. To their captain. Then. You'll have to get through me first! Lorca to bridge. The prisoners are secure. Give me a status report. Sir, the Klingon vessels just went under cloak. They'll be back. Count on it. We need to get the Klingon prisoners secured. Unfortunately, our holding facilities here are compromised. Under the circumstances, I think we'll need to transfer the prisoners to your ship. I think you'll agree we can't risk dropping our shields to use the transporters. You'll have to take a shuttle. It's a little old-fashioned, but if the Klingons are here to rescue their people, they won't risk firing on you. Your ship, on the other hand, will be a target. Be ready for anything. All right, these Klingons wanted a ride in a shuttle. Load them up. My team will handle the prison transfer to your vessel. I'll have our security chief contact yours to sort out the details. Excellent. Are you ready to finish boarding procedures and head out? Good. You made it. Afraid I have some bad news. We're picking up some photon decay heading our way. My people believe it's coming from cloaked Klingon vessels, and I'm inclined to agree. Get ready for a fight. Oh, shit. Oh, 
circle the wagon. Watch out for each other. We'll get through. It's such a shame we haven't got torpedo spread yet. Nice work, Captain. Looks like the Klingons aren't finished with us at Pryor's world. Glad you were in the neighborhood. Things could have gone pear-shaped if you weren't. I'm sure that'll look good in your after-action report. Might put a little dent in my sterling reputation, but I'll manage. That said, we're not out of the woods just yet. I'll let my first officer fill you in on the details. This is Landry. As you've seen, the Varan is needed here at Pryor's world. And her brig is no longer secure. I'm afraid your ship is gonna have to facilitate this prison transfer. The destination is classified, I'm afraid. I have the coordinates in a secure device, which, with your permission, I'll bring aboard with my team. I don't disagree, Captain, but we're at war. Things have a tendency to get irregular in situations like this. Some of our prisoners are high-ranking members of the House Mokai. The secrets they know are important to the Klingons, even more so to Starfleet. We need to get them into a high security facility as soon as we can. I'd like to send Commander Landry and a team of you to assist on this. Call it a joint effort. But it's still your ship and your command. Agreed? Oh, and one last thing. Landry's on loan. She's a damn fine officer and one of a kind. I do expect her back intact as soon as you're done, Captain. The shuttle, on the other hand, you can keep. We got plenty of those. My team is on board, Captain. With your permission, I'll take the helm for this trip. I know the way, after all. We've arrived at the coordinates, Captain. We're being hailed. Your presence in this system is unexpected. Transmit secure clearance codes now. Await and transfer of codes. I should remind you that all of our defense systems are active, Captain. Vosker out. That he did, Captain. Shall I transmit the security clearance codes? 
Transmitting initial sequence now. Lieutenant Kerwin, begin beta security code transmission on my mark. Mark. Very much so, Captain. Possibly more than they enjoy oxygen and comfortable socks. <clears throat> transmission complete. <laughs> the station is hailing us now. Shall I put them through? You're cleared for approach. Proceed to the following coordinates and prepare for prisoner transfer via shuttlecraft. Vosker out. Welcome to Starfleet Security Prison. Word, if you please. It's about Warden Vosker. I've served with him before, and there are some things about his character you should be aware of. Serving here allows Vosker to use methods and practices that would not fly on a starship. Some of his morals are fluid, perhaps dangerously so. Look, I'm not sure what Starfleet Command knows about him, but he still has command of the facility. Permission to speak freely? There are those in Starfleet who are more focused on results than the cost of achieving those results. Vosker is such a man. The Admiralty didn't order these prisoners here by chance. They want Vosker to get results by any means necessary. That doesn't work for me, or Captain Lorca. The ends do not justify the means. I intend to make sure the price we pay here isn't too great. I don't want to look back on this day with regret, or worse. My team has the prisoners prepped for transfer. Are you ready to... Welcome to Facility 2047. I'm Hadrian Vosker. Computer, update the log to finalize the transfer of prisoners to this facility. Authorization Vosker Sigma 9. We'll take it from here. A reminder, all data relating to this facility is classified. Now, if there's nothing else, I have a prison to run. Feel free to show yourselves out. Thank you. Hadrian, it's been a long time. Not long enough. Was there anything of substance you wish to discuss, or are we done here? As in, according to Starfleet regulations, Hadrian, not your own personal code of conduct. Listen, we don't have to like each other. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's an impossibility at this point. What we need to do is work together and upholding the ideals and laws of the Federation. Are you finished? Look, the Federation is the promise of a better future. I buy into that. Beautiful dream. People love to talk about it. What nobody wants to talk about are the hard choices it takes to make that dream come true. Every day, the Klingons remind us, though. And we pay the price in blood, sweat, and tears. So unless you're ready to learn some hard truths, I suggest you return to your ship and move along. Yeah, why don't you show us everything you do here, Warden? Enlighten us. Show us how you're keeping the Federation safe from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Hey, we'll even take notes. Wonderful. The prisoners are being processed. I'm sure they're being treated well. Better than the Klingons treated the innocent civilians of Pryor's world, for example. If you'll follow me. Johnson, give me a status report. Wrapping it up now, sir. Medical scans and contraband search all came back in the green. Ward Warden, there's increased comms from the Starfleet vessel stationed at Pryor's world. 
sounds like there's another fight with the Klingons there. I'm uh, not sure. Sorry, the signal's garbled. Some sort of interference is breaking it up, and I'm just getting fragments. So far, it sounds like the trouble is on the planet's surface. We have our orders, and no distress signal is being sent. That being said, I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I were back on the Baran, Captain. I've got the feeling the Klingons are about to make another big push at Pryor's world. Fine. In the meantime, we have a job to do here. Johnson, put the Priority 2 prisoners into Genpop. I'll make sure our Priority 1 guest gets into MacSec where he belongs. Captain, Commander, let's get this over with. Got a nice cell waiting for you, Mokai. Move! I'm not sure leaving the prisoners here with him is wise, Commander. What are you hens clucking about back there? Just wondering what you have in mind for our prisoners, Hadrian. Nothing the Admiralty hasn't authorized before. Johnson here. Operation reports a malfunction in primary systems and recommends a reboot. Johnson, contact engineering. Keep an eye on things until I'm finished. Foster to engineering. The bridge to isolation is acting up. Fix it. Now. Finally. Now deal with these malfunctions. Understood, sir. Wait. What the? Sir, the primary deflector grid just went offline. Look out! Klingons! Johnson, initiate full lockdown! Get those shields back up, now! Johnson? Come in, Johnson! Damn, he's lost off! They're coming to you. Are you ready? Since you've obviously forgotten, that is not how we operate. Whatever. Let's get moving. Party back. can't put the prisoner in one of these cells. We'll have to take him back to processing. It's not ideal, but it'll do till we get things under control.
Let's stow this guy quickly. Relax. His new home's right over here. And he's gonna be here a very long time. <laughs> I'd hold off Hopefully on any the shields are back online. Long range sensors are picking up a Klingon battle group approaching at high warp. Without the turrets, they'll eventually knock our shields down and finish us off for good. It's only a matter of time. Lieutenant Kerwin can get those turrets back online. We just need to buy him enough time to get the job done. I mean, this isn't time for heroics. One ship against a Klingon fleet? That's suicide. Captain, the turret grid just came back online. Wait. Bad. The turrets are scanning for Starfleet vessels. They've been set to see them as targets. It's that damned virus. It's just like what happened to Pryor's world. They turned our own defense grid against us and then mopped up what was left after the chaos. How did a Klingon virus get into our system? Klingons didn't even know about this place until. Of course. Those clever bastards. It's a genetic sequencing virus. We did a full medical scan of the Klingon prisoners when we brought them aboard the Buran. And another one when they were brought aboard this facility. But, fortunately, or your ship would be dealing with the virus too. Somehow they've managed to embed it within the DNA of one or more of the prisoners. Of 
if we can identify the difference between the artificial and natural bases, we should be able to isolate the viral code and purge it from the system. Maybe five minutes? It's not the first time, you know, we've seen. I can't believe he got away. After all that we went through here, anything he does from here on out is on me. You shouldn't beat yourself up for doing the right thing here. Besides, if we get him and Jaula, we can just pretend it was all part of the plan, right? All right, all right. You win. And we still have a lot of work to do before, you know, we single-handedly end the war and get promoted to Fleet Admiral. So let's get up to your ship and go after them. <laughs> One of the Klingon vessels is hailing us. Starfleet vessel. You are outnumbered and unable to flee. If you wish your crew to survive, stand down and prepare to be boarded. Refuse, and we will give you all an honorable death. A warrior's death, then. Good. I wouldn't have it any other way. Perhaps we will meet face to face in glorious combat when I pour your vessel to take it as my prize. So I can't go within 10 kilometers with the Starfleet defense grid. A bit annoying, but hey ho.
We've lost the advantage here. All ships, withdraw at once. So a little bit of help there. We'll get some higher torpedo damage now, hopefully. Good news, Captain. Latest sensor reports show all Klingon vessels are either destroyed or retreating. Kerwin here. Captain, all systems are clear over here. Not reading any Klingon ships on sensors either. Did we do it? Captain, if it's all the same to you, I recommend we retrieve Lieutenant Kerwin and return to the Baran immediately. We haven't seen the last of Ja'ula and her forces, and there is a nasty digital virus still running wild in the Baran systems. Seeing as we have the solution to that little problem, I think it's high time we delivered it to Captain Lorca. Sounds like the Klingons are making another push in that sector. Securing Pryor's world is of the utmost importance, so I want you to render assistance to the Baran as soon as possible. I'm sending other vessels in the region to join the effort, but until they arrive, the burden will fall on your shoulders alone. Good luck and Godspeed. Kensington out. Congratulations. So, yet again, in episode 3, we're still inside the tutorial section. This Klingon computer still virus is giving me a bad feeling about things. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get out of it by the end of the next episode. See you guys on the next one.